Hi folks, let's walk through how to take this drawing and create our 3D solid model of this Picatinny rail in Fusion 360. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. So this is a special episode for me because this is how I all got started about 10 years ago. We were making accessories. I Googled and found this PDF and I found this original drawing and I didn't know how to read it. I didn't know how to put it into CAD. And for you CAD gurus out there, this is probably a cakewalk, but it's not easy. And one of the tricks is gonna be starting with this inside box. So let's dive in. One of the great things about being able to do this is there's so many bad CAD models out there of Picatinny rails. So being able to go back to the standard and the specification feels really good. S is your keyboard shortcut. C-E-N pulls up center rectangle. We'll put it on the Z-X plane, so that's between the blue and the red. It's 0 0.108 by 0.748. So now we've created that center box. I'm gonna left click drag around it and hit X on my keyboard. That turns it into construction geometry, which is shown by being a dashed line. So we've got our box. How do we go to the next step of creating the shape around it? A lot of ways to do this. I'm gonna start by hitting L for line. I'm gonna sketch a line and I'm gonna let it stay horizontal. I'm gonna come down here, do my angle. If you see, if I let it snap that way, it stays 90 degrees to each other. We'll come across, and I don't worry too much. It's helpful to have it resemble the right shape, but really I'm going to rely on the constraints to fix it. Perpendicular, so that these two are 90 degrees to each other. Make sure these are horizontal, they already are. Make sure these points are vertical relative to each other. And then lastly, the thing that's gonna bring it all into place, coincident, if you take a look at the drawing, see how the line is coincident with our construction rectangle? Click on the line and click on the point. I'll do the same. Line, point, and finally, line, point. Awesome. It's still blue. In fact, we can see, we can just bring that back. Click it once, delete it. I wanna bring that over to have it match there because I still have a lot of different ways that I can drag this around, but we're getting a lot closer now. Next thing, I'm gonna sketch this bottom section. L for line, drop a line down, over and up, and we know that dimension is 0.617. And what I can now do is D for dimension, click this line, and click the center point, click once to place that dimension, and what I can now do is click our 0.617 and say divide by two. That's going to center up our feature below our other shape. We know the height from the top to the bottom is 0.367. D for dimension, here to here, 0.367. And we know the bottom edge of our construction rectangle to the top of the part is the 0.164. So the bottom of our construction rectangle to the top of our Picatinny rail, 0.164 and see how that one single dimension that we finally added moves everything black. We literally went from having a substantial number of blue line sections to being totally fully constrained and done. And if we compare it visually, it looks like we're about right. Last dimension and feature to add is the outside edge breaks of these angles. And we do that with this 0.835 inch dimension, L for line. Don't worry about where they are. I'm just gonna sketch a vertical line here and a vertical line here. D for dimension. The distance between that line and that line, 0.835. You notice it did not do what I want because it moved this one off the edge and it kept this one in place. The way to fix that, click on this left one and the distance to the center 
will be click on the 0.835, so it links it parametrically, D7 divided by 2, that centers these two up, hit escape once, E for extrude, click on my shape, uh, you know what, we'll fix this too, we can actually hit T for trim, and we can trim that center line off, notice again, everything is black, we're fully constrained, E for extrude, click this, say 2 inches, and we're done. We've taken this drawing. We've made our solid model. We've used pretty darn good CAD etiquette. Folks, I hope you've learned something. Hope you've enjoyed. Take care. See you next Friday.